We're going to continue on from the example we made in class, and we're going to create a hex nut for our socket cap bolt. Let's start by right clicking and creating a new component. I'm going to call this our nut. And I'm going to turn off the bolt for now and make sure that your nut is your active component. You should have a blank drawing area. Choose circumscribe polygon. Feel free to draw your polygon. I'm looking at the dimension from flat to flat. And if I go to my drawing, I have a quarter inch bolt and it's 7 16. So I'm just going to enter that so I know what my dimensions are. My next step is to create one side horizontal vertical so it looks good. So I'll make this side horizontal and I'll coincident this center to the origin. That should fully constrain my part. I'm going to stop my sketch. I'm going to use E to extrude. And again, I'm going to look at the dimensions here but I'm looking at the H value and the basic uh, H thickness, uh, I'm going to put it at about 0.226, I'm going to go to the biggest. Alright, then that should give us a full net. My next step is to create a hole in the center. So I'll find my hole, select my top face of my part, and I'm just going to move it in a little closer so I can and I'll select my reference, I'm going to select that, and then for my second reference, and if I use my inspect tool, I know that this total distance was 7 16 So when I make my hole, I'm actually going to try to change that dimension to a parameter as well, so it's always centered. So I'm going to edit the feature. For my hole size, I'm going to make this 0.25, and then it's going to go all the way through. I'm sorry, the diameter will be 0.25, and I'll make sure it goes all the way through. Okay, I'm going to hit OK. Now I'm going to go to my Modify tab and change my parameters. <coughs> I'm going to drop down the hex, and let's start simple. The hole itself, for the hole depth, just needs to go the, the full thickness of our part. So that's going to be the same as the extrude. So I'm going to add a user parameter. And I'm going to call this my thickness. And in inches for now, that was 0.225 and I'll hit OK. So now that extrude is always going to be that thickness. As far as my hole depth, that's also going to be that thickness. My hole diameter is going to be my bolt diameter. And these two distances here are going to relate to this linear dimension here. So that's actually D14. So I'm going to put D14 over 2. And on this one, I'm also going to put D14 over 2. And that'll center my hole always. If you wanted to create an actual uh, expression for that, you can do that. All right. If we look back at the bolt, we did create a chamfer here, and I left that at 0.008 inches. I'm going to use the same chamfer, so let's add a chamfer here, and let's call that 0.008 inches. And then I have a value here that I can use. <coughs> And that should give me a chamfer. So I'm going to hit OK now. Everything else is parametric. 
and I'm going to modify chamfer. And I'm going to select all these edges here and all of these edges here. And that should be six plus six, and the distance is going to be a chamfer. I'll hit OK, and I have chamfer around my net. That's the same as the socket cap. There's one thing that we can do is create uh, values for all of the nut outsides. So if we look at our actual values here, they change with the distance between the um, hole and the outer edge. So a quarter would relate to 4 sixteenths, so we're adding 3 sixteenths. This would be 8 sixteenths. So let's always add 3 sixteenths to the outside of the net. So let's go back to our modify parameters, and we're always going to add 3 sixteenths to the, the outside. So this will be bolt diameter plus 3 sixteenths. And let's see if that works. I'll hit OK. Nothing should have changed. But now, if I go to modify and I want to change this to a half inch bolt, I can do that and the whole nut changed in size to its appropriate size. So now we have a fully parametric nut. We can also do the same for the height. From here, make sure to save your design. If you'd like to add threads, you can go through the Create menu, click Thread, click the inside face where you want to apply threads, and it should populate with what you wanted. I'm going to go back and change mine to quarter 20 since that was our example. And I'm going to go to Thread. Select my inside face, and there's a quarter 20 right here. And I'm going to model them so you can see them a little bit better. I'll hit OK, and you can see my nut is now uh, threaded. Again, I'll save, and I'm done.